Hi everyone, Lynn here for Flying Unicorn and today I have a layout share for you with the uh, made with the July kit of the month. I also have a couple tips to offer to you as well as a very small tutorial. So the first thing that I wanted to share with you is <coughs> excuse me don't be afraid to mix and match your manufacturer papers. Even if your papers are shabby chic like Authentiques and mixed media grungy like 13 arts. It's amazing how when you put them together how cohesive the whole thing looks and what a whole different look it gives to your layouts. It actually to me it actually gives a lot of texture as well as richness to your layouts. So that's my first tip for you. Don't be afraid to mix and match manufacturers. The other thing is on chipboard pieces. Most of the time we usually have small pieces of chipboard but every once in a while you get a large piece and in this particular kit this doily the chipboard doily was actually about that big around so I'm thinking that's about seven or eight inches around what I did is I cut it in pieces and actually I can show you because here's my leftover bits and pieces this is actually how the chipboard doily would look so I cut it apart. I actually cut the two sides off and then was left with this and decided that I wanted to use this on something else. Haven't gotten that far yet, but I have the pieces left over. And even if I do on this particular piece still have the look that I started working on for this particular layout, I can still flip it over and go ahead and use it. Or gesso it and start all over again. So that's two different little tips and techniques for you. Don't be afraid to mix and match and don't be afraid to cut into your chipboard doilies or your any pieces of chipboard for that matter and scatter them throughout your layout. So I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to come back in just a minute. I'm going to show you how I achieved the effect on my um, the Prima resin frames. Very simple to do. I think you're going to love how to do this, but it is a quickie. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I happen to have another of the large frames that I used on my layout. This is uh, Shabby Chic Treasures from Prima. And real quick, I'm going to show you how I actually did this. So I took, I actually on my layout for the large one, I used the 13 Arts uh, Chalk Sap Green Mist that came in the kit. And since I'm working on something different today, I'm going to use the other one that came in the kit, which is the Chalk Lilac. And I'm just going to give you an idea of what I did. So you want to make sure you shake up your, your uh, mist. And then I just sprayed, or you can dump out a little bit of your mist onto your work surface. And all I did was I painted it on where I wanted the mist to go. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I didn't want the whole frame covered in green. Basically, I wanted to be able to see the white around the picture. Okay, so that's just a small sampling of what I've done. So I'm going to go ahead and heat set that so I can show you what else I've done to it. Now, if you make a mistake, all you have to do is spray it down with water, and it will come out. And I'll show you actually in a minute. That's good. We're pretty close to dry. Now over top of that, what I used was the Viva Decor Inca Gold in gold. Now I, I'm not exactly sure why, but the little pots I find tend to dry out, so I just spray them with water. Otherwise they're just a little too hard to work with, and this is a little too sloppy for my taste. I think I added a little too much water to it. So just go ahead and use whatever metallic paste that you like, whether it's Rub and Buff or the Inca Gold. Get some on your finger and just spread it over top. That's it. That's how easy this technique was to do. That's it. And once it's dried, you can go ahead and buff it down and it will shine even more. Now I told you that if you didn't like the mist and how you sprayed it on there that you could go ahead and wipe it off. You can. Get a paper towel over here. 
And here we go. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so that, now that I've wiped it all away, that was my tutorial <laughs> for today. I am going to show you some pictures at the end um, and close-ups as well of the frame. And I just want to thank you for watching the video today. Please don't forget to comment. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave that in your comment as well. And uh, don't forget to check out the Flying Unicorn store. And you might want to look into pre-ordering kits because our kits have been selling out so fast, we just can't keep them in the store. So, have yourself a great day, and I'll see you later.